Hey, what's going on? This is T.Y. from Green Regimen, and I uh, came across this video, which I think is pretty interesting. It's called, I Dieted Like a Vegan Pro Athlete for 30 Days. Now, in my opinion, over the next few years, you're gonna start hearing about high school athletes, college athletes, and pro athletes who are 100% plant-based, and they are going to start dominating their respective sports. And it's really just gonna take a trend like that in order to really help people or help more people make the shift over to a plant-based lifestyle. So let's check out this video. I haven't watched it yet, so we'll watch it together at the same time. I'm so tired. My knees are sore. My back is sore. Like, what? What's up, guys? My name is Quentin, and I love working out and staying in shape. To do that, I always thought I needed to have a high-protein diet and get that protein from eating meat, a lot of meat. But recently, I found myself watching a documentary on Netflix called The Game Changers, which follows the lives of many pro athletes who are not only choosing to do a plant-based diet, but are thriving in their sports. So Game Changers is definitely a fantastic documentary, and I don't really feel like they push that vegan agenda down your throat, which I believe a lot of people um, are really happy about, so that's why they're more receptive to watching a video like that. So definitely check it out. And that brings you to today. My 21st day of eating and training like a vegan pro athlete. And I'm doing my final workout before I hop on the scale. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys what I've been doing for the past 21 days to see how I got here. And it all started off with interviewing James Wilkes, the producer of the Game Changers documentary. And make sure before we get into this, you hit the like button and subscribe. So James, what are some of the main stigmas that you found with, um, you know, plant-based diets? Yeah, I mean, obviously the number one thing is people think that if you're on a plant-based diet, you can't build muscle. You know, people think that there's no protein or not enough protein on a plant-based diet, and that's not true. You don't have to be into the environment or into animals to, to eat a plant-based diet. You can do it, you know, for yourself, uh, for the health and athletic benefits. How Will I be able to get my protein if I'm not eating meat? Well, first of all, you know, all protein is really originating in plants that we eat, right? You can go direct, direct to the source. Some of the, the good foods that are high in protein in a plant-based diet are going to be legumes. So that's uh, beans, peas, lentils, that type of thing, soy milk. Or elite protein, or I should say and elite protein. And if you don't know what elite protein is, make sure you check out our channel and our page. Um, and, you know, nuts and seeds are also pretty high in protein as well. And um, I hope at the end of 21 days, I can perform better with this, you know, NBA trainer and accomplish my goal with that guy, too. So looking forward to this all. And I'm looking forward to hearing your results. So, you know, stay in touch and um, look forward to hearing, like, what you've noticed after 21 days. <laughs> Talking to James is great. It gave me some insight on what I could expect in the next 21 days. But it also gave me motivation that I could actually do it. Between not having enough time to prepare my meals... In the new workouts with NBA specialist Paul Fabris, we're trying to decrease Quentin's body fat and get his strength up so that we produce more relative force. We're gonna also try to improve his jump mechanics. I have to say, week one was rough. I'm so tired. My knees are sore. My back is sore. Like, what? The food was definitely something I had to get used to, but to say it wasn't good would be an absolute lie. It was amazing. I think the biggest challenge for me was not knowing how to make the foods I wanted to eat. So that led me to eat it out every single day. So I did mention this in another video. You have to plan. Even if you're not a chef or even if you don't normally cook, you do want to think about exactly what you're going to eat. You can't just jump into this whole plant-based diet thing and just expect it all to work out. You must plan. And, but that kind of goes with everything, right? You have to plan in order to be successful. So just keep that in mind every single meal it was a good and bad thing because i got a chance to see that vegan food is actually really good it has a lot of great options and this is fire like this is one of the best meals i had so far but the bad part was that i spent way over my budget for weekly meals i knew i had to make some changes so i reached out to my good friend Mer, who's been making me eat all her vegan food for the last year so this would be nothing new for her <laughs> So I'm officially at Sprouts, and I got my girl Merle on the phone. She's about to help me get some groceries. Say what's up, Merle. What's up? I'm so ready for this. Hey. I was born for this. Give me some, uh, you know, some recipes I can do for, throughout this next week or so. One recipe that I feel like could be really delicious, and that's a little bit different than, like, 
what you might see in a lot of like Pinterest vegan recipes um, are these Thai tofu collard wraps. Okay. Okay. That sounds amazing, actually. You know, you know I love Thai food, so... All right, so for this next one, we're going to do a teriyaki tempeh stir-fry. Yo, that you... sounds fire. Yeah, right? Do you, know, do you like tempeh? I don't, I don't think I've ever had it, to be honest. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm. You're like, I don't know what that is, but that sounds amazing. I love that. All right, you ready for this last one? We're going to do a little sweet treat. Yeah. Do it. All right, we're going to do just an easy parfait, okay? Like some bananas, mm. some strawberries, and then just some granola. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Yo, banana, strawberry, that's my, that's my thing. I don't ever want veganism to be something that's scary for you, so just start with these recipes. If yeah. you have any troubles, you can literally call me anytime, day or night. I'm like your, your okay. vegan lifeline lady. But also, like, don't be too hard on yourself, <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't need to be scary. If you slip up here and there, it's really okay. Uh, but just do your best. It's okay. going to be, I can promise you it'll be delicious. So what you notice is she didn't recommend any plant-based meats, no Impossible Burger or no Beyond Burger, which I'm a little bit surprised about only because at one, he's about 167 pounds and he's an athlete. So I would think that the macronutrient um, content of his foods is extremely important, but we'll see how he performed uh, on the tofu. <laughs> Merle is one of my few friends who inspires me and encourages me to do a more plant-based diet all the time. All the time. And having her help me out for week two with groceries was huge. But I can't lie, once I got the groceries, that's when it got real and reality hit me again. Even though she gave me recipes that were super simple and easy to make, now I had to actually carve out time of my day to cook. And that's what I was struggling with. So week two started off a lot like week one with me ordering food. But I knew this was gonna be my last time because I was getting very frustrated with wasting money, especially not when I have groceries in my refrigerator. And on Tuesday, I started to cook my stuff and take it very seriously. I started off with the vegan yogurt perfait, and that was amazing. It was very filling for the morning, and it was a good starter. It was a good start off, and it was super easy to make. After that, the lettuce tofu wraps were okay. It wasn't my favorite thing, but the vegan stir fry was amazing. And if you notice, so he's just using the tofu. He's not combining the protein. So for example, it's not tofu and lentils or tofu and chickpeas. I am a proponent of combining plant-based proteins. Um, at the same time, again, you know, he's an athlete and he doesn't necessarily need too much muscle. Um, he definitely has much less muscle than I do. And I really love, you know, just the the way that your muscles respond when you are intaking complete proteins. Not saying that tofu is not a complete protein, however, it's not as complete as if it were mixed with lentils or chickpeas. But definitely a healthy meal that he's uh, showing us here. We're actually making it right now. If I can get this and then have to cook or clean other ways, I do it every day. So training for week two got even more intense than week one, and that led to my days being even longer than they already were. We said we train like an NBA player. Yeah, that shit is no joke. <laughs> One thing that worried me about this challenge was the fact that I had to have enough energy going throughout my day to do a full workout and then do all of my other daily routine. But yeah, honestly, even just finishing the workouts while changing my diets was very concerning for me because I have to have a lot of energy to do these high intensity workouts. So one thing I realized early was that I had to time my meals very strategically. So one thing I like to do was eat a meal one hour before I went to go training and one hour afterwards. My preference was to do a protein shake, very high in calorie. After I did that, I wasn't feeling any more tiredness from my workouts and I actually felt more energized. I was going to see- Hold on, I'm just looking to see I don't know, do you see elite protein anywhere? I don't, I don't either, but in his next video, he definitely needs to have elite protein for sure. Sleep a little bit earlier, waking up a little bit earlier, but for me, that was perfect. Since time it became just a huge piece of week two, I knew I had to make some final adjustments for week three so I could finish out strong and be as efficient as possible with my routines and my daily workouts. I also need to talk to an athlete I know personally who's been on a plant-based diet for years, and that's my little brother, Tyshawn. Well, look at that, huh? His little brother, Tyshawn. Ha, ah, that's funny. The irony. What's good, son? Like, tell me a little bit about your plant-based diets. I know you've been doing it for a while. I mean, man, my plant-based diet, I do it all for the uh, well-being of myself. Um, I feel like the food that you put into your body is information. And that information gives you more information about how you feel. 
You know what I mean? And we all want to feel good. So in order to feel good, you got to put the right nutrition into your body. What was it like? So I guess I'm not the only smart Tyshawn out here. Like starting off for you, because like, you know, when you go from eating meat to not eating meat, like that transition has to be hard for a certain amount of time. Like, what was it like for you? To the vegan version of whatever it was. You know what I mean? So if it was like a granola bar, I would go look for the, the healthy granola bar. You know what I mean? I try to look yep. in a more natural way, because I feel like if you're more natural, you're more close to your source and you're being more who you are. So if you could just put those things that come straight from the earth straight into your body without going through all these uh, different processes, you become more uh, from the source, you become more vibrant. And I just love the feeling, man. I've been in it five, almost six years being a vegetarian, and every year that goes by, it just reinforces the strength of it. You know what I mean? And now I'm just really vibrating on a high level, and I never want to go back because I know what I'm doing it for. <laughs> So it was really important for me to have somebody like Tyshawn helping me out through this week. So one of the most important things he told me throughout the week was that there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's all about you doing it the best that you can. So I decided to go just the delivery service route because I feel like that fit into my lifestyle. And I knew that from before when I wasn't doing vegan stuff. So that was the best option for me. It allowed me to be able to eat before I worked out, but after I worked out. And any time throughout the day, if I felt like I needed some food, I had a meal right there. So, you know, it's not for everybody, but for me, I really enjoyed that. I mean, if nobody told me this wasn't real meat, I wouldn't know. It's pretty good. So this final week, as far as training, was really difficult. So we were preparing for our midway review for my vertical jump. I can't lie, I was feeling great. And I think the results show. Within the first couple of weeks of working out with Paul, I increased my vertical jump by five inches. So just to put that in perspective, we were expecting to get five inches for the entire two months. Yeah, that does sound... That sounds unbelievable five inches like that's that's incredible extremely impressive 30.6 hey he's in the 30 club that exceeded his expectations completely and now we're looking at a whole completely different goal and that brings me to today my 21st day of training like a vegan pro athlete I'm gonna hop on the e-tech city scale one more time to see what we've done in the last three weeks I just did my final weigh-in, and I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, for body weight, I dropped half a pound. So um, I didn't want to lose any weight during this challenge, but for 21 days to have a professional trainer training me and to lose half a pound while on a vegan diet, I feel like it's a pretty good pretty good result, so I'm not mad at that. So my visceral fat dropped from an 8 to a 7, which is really good, and my muscle mass increased by a whole 1%. So overall, like even outside of the stats and the improvements, I just feel really good on this diet. So I think it's something I'm definitely going to try to keep doing going forward. I'm not going to try to be vegan or be vegetarian. I'm just going to try to do a plant-based diet as best as I can, like maybe 90%. So um, yeah, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself, like Merle said and Ty said. Don't be too picked up on trying to be perfect. Just try to be as good as you can and just do the best you can do. Yeah, I think this is great. Very, very honest video. He gave you his... Um his, his outlook post this video, like he most likely won't continue to be 100% plant-based, but he's done it long enough to, to know how he can fit it into his life, you know, and how he can improve his performance and improve his health. And that's all that I want for everyone watching this video. So glad you watched it. Very, very informative. Make sure to hit the like button. Keep following Green Regimen. We'll continue to have awesome videos and commentary for you. All right. See you next time.